Dwayne Jones won an attacking masterpiece against India's Gokesh. He joins us in our studio. Gwyn, a 26 move win against uh, India's Gokesh. You should be pleased with the result, but also an interesting game. Yeah, of course, I'm very pleased. Uh, I played him a couple of times already in the Isle of Man, both times. And actually, I beat him in the opening once before. Uh, but if he survives the opening, he outplayed me, and I was in a lot of trouble last time. So I knew it would be a tough game. And give us an idea of how, what your preparation was uh, for this round. Uh, well, we had a game in this Russell Emo uh, last time, and I decided to follow a game of Magnus's from Vikingsay. And I don't think Gukesh had uh, seen the game. He was thinking early on while we were still following that game. And in this game, uh, you managed to checkmate his king on g5. So take us through the critical moments <laughs> yeah. and tell us how that happened. So I think he's uh, probably made a mistake already around this queen b3. And so he took, apparently I can take on b7 already, but I... Uh, Here? Yeah. So were you uh, concerned with rook b8? Yeah, I saw that I had some kind of dangerous play for it after take on c6. Bishop, bishop back. And I can do something here. Take on a7 or bishop c5 or knight b5. But you weren't but, sure about the evaluation. Yeah. Well, I thought it was unnecessary because I thought in the game, after simply recapturing, that he had some problems. I have, to, I have to press. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because he can't defend the pawn on b7 very easily. He has to move the knight because otherwise. Yeah, well, if he castles queenside, I think he's. Uh, it's the other way to try and defend this, but. But can't you Asking take for a lot of trouble. Maybe I can take on a7. I actually wanted to play knight b5. Because I thought taking with the knight was even stronger. Right. And I think my king is quite safe. It's, this bishop on g7 is so bad that it's going to be very difficult for him to drum up any counterplay. Uh, and otherwise, he can give these pawns, but I didn't really see a good way to do it. Yeah. So right. he tried to hold on. So he went for knight f8 to hold yeah, on to the to b7 the pawn. pawn, but this comes in the way of uh, his pieces coordinating. Yeah, now I'm gaining a lot of time I'm bringing my knight into the game. Uh, there are some fun lines here, but okay, we can see the game. So you can come with queen g5 check as well, king f1. Uh, so the idea of uh, running with the king to f1 is so that there's no... I just didn't want it to be check on f3. Check on f3 I wasn't yeah. sure actually if f1 or h1 was better, but... F1, so it's not checked. It's perfectly safe in F1. And for a while I was concerned about this. And if I take the pawn, maybe bishop c5 and run the king to g7. That's some counterplay. But I think knight b5 here is very strong. Oh, this is pretty. So you're threatening knight c7, and this just runs into mate? Yeah. Well, I wasn't sure mate, or at least I can win his. Yeah, I can win the rook. So, right. So. And then you managed to so get your knight into play as well. Yeah, so now I've got my knight in with check. And uh, I don't know, he can probably just run this way, but then I'll take the pawn, exchange queens, be a pawn up yes. with a nice structure, and he's still got the bad bishop. Yeah, and the c6 pawn pawn's very weak. fall as well. So he uh, made me fight, run up the board. To the pawn and but it does look like things have gone horribly wrong for black already yeah. if your king's on <laughs> f6. <laughs> but if I give him enough time to somehow switch the bishop and king round, then <laughs> he's going to have a very good play for the pawn. Because my king, long term, could be weak with these squares. But I can open him up before he's ready. He took. So you immediately take action in the center yeah. to open the game up. Yeah, with this king in front of the rest of his pieces. I want to open it up for all my pieces. So when you have such a position on the board, are you convinced there should be a checkmate? Is that what you're looking for now? Yeah, I spent quite a while, uh, on six minutes on this one and 16 and a half on the next one, because I was pretty sure, there was one line, okay, all these moves I thought were quite natural to open up all the lines for my pieces. But here I'd seen that I can play queen g3 check. He can't go king f5 because of 96 check. And queen g4 check. This was actually the line I analyzed originally with this king on f6. I think this is winning for me. Oh, this because, we, have to, uh, we have to show yeah. this, and now the point is g4 is made. Yeah, say knight d3, forking my rooks, oh. but it's made. That's a very pretty line. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I didn't want to let him off the hook here somehow, give the piece and maybe get two pawns. I wasn't quite sure how he gets two pawns for the piece. But I think he just probably has to give a piece, but not get two pawns, and then just go g5 or something. Yeah, or maybe g5 first or some. Right. I think, yeah, this is winning, but I uh, spent a while and found uh, what I think is an even cleaner win.
with E6. So you actually saw this line but decided to go yeah. with E6? Yeah. Okay. So I thought this would win immediately. And, uh, yeah, so the problem is this queen can't come across now. Yeah, and king f6 runs into queen e5, so you yeah. have to go. I th this is the move I spent most of my time on. But did you find, did you find uh, a way to refute it? Can you not just go knight d6 here? Yeah, but at least then it's not mate. Was the, but I've got moves like knight e8 check here as well. This might be the threat, renewing this mate threat. So he has to go king f5 again. And then I can take the bishop and then come in. Right. Mate five. Yeah, it's hard to imagine so it's, that black can survive this yeah. position. So he tried on h5, but now queen f3 check. So you wanted to go h4 now? Yeah, and he resigned here because if he takes, I can get my ball mower mate going. Well, none of this happened, but this well, was... So <laughs> yeah, he resigned after h4 check. Because it's all forced. Yeah. Nice finish. Yeah, so please, I've had a lot of very long games here, so it's my... First game that's been less than four hours. Right, and tonight is the night of the Battle of the Sexes. Yep. <laughs> Are we going to see you there? Yes. Uh, maybe. We did see you at the Blitz last night. Yeah, we uh, very surprisingly won it. Thanks yes, to Yes, congratulations. Great board one and board four. Yeah. And the board one was David Howell, who's our commentator this time. Yeah. He crushed all the top seeds of the event. Yeah, clearly not playing is very good for your Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, well... That was a great game and very, uh, very entertaining to watch as well. Thank you for your time and good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Wayne.